Hello, and welcome to CECP's webinar, What Makes a Winning Excellence Awards Program. My name is Sarah Ann Adams, and I serve as the Head of Communications and Marketing here at CECP. The goal of today's webinar is to support your organization in communicating the story of your philanthropic program and to put your best foot forward to the jury in your Excellence Awards application. This slide outlines how we'd like to use the, our time with you. The emphasis will be on tips and advice taken directly from the selection committee members themselves on what they look for in awards applications and how the standards of excellence in corporate giving are judged. We'll also provide guidance on the process of completing your application and outline the steps and suggest a timeline for completion. However, before we dive into that, I'd like to provide you with some context with a very brief history of CCB's Excellence Awards program and the benefits to winning companies and nonprofit organizations. Since 2000, the Excellence Awards in Corporate Philanthropy have been presented annually to companies demonstrating leadership in corporate giving. Beginning in 2004, CCB has presented its annual Director's Award to a nonprofit demonstrating an exemplary partnership with a corporation. This will be the 13th Annual Excellence Awards, and the recognition of these awards has grown in stature and today is one of the most coveted awards in the field of corporate philanthropy. As you can see from this list, companies from a range of industries and geographies apply for and win the awards, representing a full range of nonprofit partners and program focus areas, ranging from hunger to entrepreneurship to STEM education to economic development and much more. Here are the winners recognized in 2012 at the Corporate Philanthropy Summit. From left to right is Carly Fiorina, Chairman of the Board of Good360, nominated by the Home Depot, Irene Rosenfeld, Chairman and CEO of Kraft Foods, Doug Conant, former CEO of Campbell Soup Company and Chairman of the Board for CECP, Cindy Halberlin, President and CEO of Good360, and finally Gretchen McLean, President and CEO of Xylem Incorporated. If you go to the Excellence area of our website, you can read more about the programs for which each of these organizations was recognized and view highlights videos describing their impact. This slide shows a screenshot of the homepage for the Excellence Awards on CECP's website. To get there, go to www.corporatephilanthropy.org, click on the Events tab on the top navigation, then on the left navigation, click Excellence Awards. On this page, you will find information about the award winners, the jury members, photo from past award events, application categories, and the applications themselves. It is important to note that the timing of the awards has shifted. The 2013 winners will be celebrated in a special presentation at the 8th Annual Board of Boards CEO Conference at the McGraw-Hill Building in New York on February 25, 2013. The winning CEO will receive the award in front of more than 50 CEOs of leading global companies. CEO CCP feels that this shift is significant. CEOs will now be recognized in front of their CEO peers. The corporate CEO or nonprofit CEO or executive director from the winning company must receive the award in person. We will discuss this in more detail when we get to the timeline for applying. There are significant benefits to applying to the Excellence Awards. CEO recognition in an intimate setting of their peers at the Board of Boards meeting. For the winning nonprofit, a $25,000 grant from CCP's Board of Directors. CECP will work closely with the communications teams at the winning organizations to secure press opportunities. Award winners have received media attention for their philanthropy programs at a number of high-profile media outlets, including Bloomberg News, CNBC, Fast Company, The Economist, Forbes, and Fox Business, among others. Additionally, the winning organizations are featured in a professional video shown at the event and on CECP's website and social media platforms. Each winner also receives an engraved Tr Crystal's T Tiffany's Award. But what about the programs that do not win? There are great benefits to those programs as well. First, the process of applying for the awards can be a productive exercise in articulating the goals and impact of your program for use in other communications. We have often heard that some companies reference the application and the standards of excellence as a guide when creating a new philanthropic program. Second, the jury takes great care in discussing and compiling feedback for each of the applicants. After the award ceremony, each applicant has the opportunity to consult with CCP about areas where their program may be able to improve. To our knowledge, CCP is the only award-granting organization in the industry to provide this feedback loop, but we consider it an important part of our larger advocacy mission. We encourage all applicants to take us up on this offer, even the winners. 
Also, by applying to the award, CECP will be aware of your company's initiatives and will look for ways to feature these programs in CECP events, publications, and online materials, with your consultation, of course. There is a checkbox on the application asking if CECP can, can, can contact you to share qualitative information about the program if opportunities arise. We encourage you to check yes so that we can share your philanthropy stories either in the media or in features at CECP Summit or website or other channel. The more we know about your programs, the more our team can look out for ways to help you obtain recognition for your great work. It is important to note that we will never share information without your permission and never share financial giving data. I'll now walk you through the different categories for the Excellence Awards. Who can apply? Any company, not just CECP members. That's very important, not just CECP members. The awards for the corporations come in two categories, and it's the same application for both categories. The categories are judged only against others in that category, and these categories are number one, companies with revenue greater than or equal to 20 billion, and number two, companies with revenue less than 20 billion. And for nonprofits and corporate partners, the third category, these corporations and nonprofit partners submit one combined application that they prepare together. Nonprofits have an annual operating budget greater than or equal to $50,000 annually, and the nonprofit must be U.S. based. Each year, CCP assembles a distinguished jury to determine which organizations to recognize. The jury is comprised of 13 members from the corporate, nonprofit, government, investment, consulting, media, and academic communities. At this point in time, we are thanking our former jurors and welcoming new ones. Watch our website for new members, which will be announced soon. It is a tradition to have prior winners serve as jurors as they understand the complexity from the corporate or nonprofit side. Members are cross-sector advocates who are peers, who want to celebrate the work you do. They understand the importance of these programs, so remember that you're talking directly to them as you fill out your applications. Go to the level of details your peers would appreciate. Each juror scores each application on his or her own. Those scores are used as a starting point of the winner selection. The jury then meets in person in New York City for a day-long session to discuss and select the leading applications to an anonymous vote. Once the jury has selected the winners, CECP notifies that company's CEO and confirms that he or she is available to receive the award in person. The winner is confidential until the award ceremony. Here is our suggestion for how you might use your time. First, sketch out an outline. It's never too soon to start brainstorming, so have an initial brainstorming call soon with colleagues in other offices or geographies, or call your nonprofit partner. Your CEO must be available in person, so it's a good idea to check now that the calendar is available and put a hold on that date in, the, in anticipation of having a winning result. Even if it looks like a conflict, apply anyway. We will make exceptions, but sometimes CEOs will change their minds. Sometimes plans can be moved. We leave that to your discretion. We want to emphasize the internal process for the application. This often causes late applications. The application is done, but it's sitting on someone's desk. Given the timing of the deadline near Labor Day, people are not reliably in the office. Be mindful of unexpected delays. For nonprofits, since you're filling this out jointly, make sure there's ample time to coordinate. Applications are due at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on September 7, 2012. There is a 10-point deduction for late applications. And if the CEO cannot attend the event, the company will not receive the award. Now we'll dive into some of the specifics on the application. Please read the entire application form first to help you pick a program. Look at where the points are given. Applications are not scored on how much you've spent or how long the program has existed. That is important background, but points are on the four pillars. Let the point values help you pick which programs to choose. For the corporate application, all four criteria are equally weighted. For the nonprofit application, partnership is emphasized above the others. As for which category to choose, think about the weighting of the points and the uniqueness of the partnership. Typically, we have more applicants for the director's award. Here are some general tips for completing the application. And from feedback we've heard from over the years, your application will be memorable if you've enjoyed telling the story. The jury members are peers and champions of corporate giving. They want to understand the details, but they will be reading lots of applications. So be sure to include what you feel is exciting and different. Make the application memorable. Paint a picture. But stay flexible. Use bullet points for now. Move things around, especially if working collaboratively. 
Don't get too attached to specific wording too early in the process. You will run into trouble if you're using too many high-level generalities. A lot of the best programs all sound the same, so it's really important to precisely communicate in a vivid way. Applications sometimes omit details that help with the context about program area, geography, industry. Sometimes it's so obvious to you, but you forget to write them for the jury. Do a check to ensure you haven't missed the basics because you're so familiar with these, with these details that they escape your notice. We've designed the application to have no overlap. If you feel that application is asking you to repeat yourself, pause, ask a colleague, or contact us. There should be one logical home for each part of your story. You're not writing the same thing over and over. Have a colleague look at the application with fresh eyes. Help you spot typos, jargons, and areas to answer more completely. The word limits in the application are meant to be generous, so you don't have to write until the last word. And now we'll look at some specific application sections. Fill out the available information for the financial background info. We will contact you for missing information, but there will not be another opportunity to review. We assume all reviews happen when the data was initially provided. For strategy and program description, this is where we're asking about your overall program. What's the focus area? What's the population you're trying to reach? What are your goals? Don't be too high level. Create a picture for the jury of what you're trying to do. This is not for any one specific program, not your CSR or your values, but strategy for community engagement. Here's some strong overall strategy examples and some less successful examples. The four pillars of excellence. To win, companies must demonstrate exemplary evidence of each of the following standards of excellence. Number one, CEO leadership. Two, innovation. Three, dedication to measurement. Four, partnership, which is emphasized in the director's award. We're going to go through each of these categories, and I'll provide examples of strong application answers and less strong answers. These examples are taken out of context, but just meant to show examples. CEO leadership. CEO is actively and effectively involved in the success of the company's community investment programs. How does the company's CEO exhibit leadership in the company's community investment program? How do the corporation's CEO and nonprofit executive leader play a role or roles in the success of this program? Here are some things to consider. We're looking for specific actions of how your CEO has taken uh, what, what actions your CEO has taken to personally get involved. The bottom answers in blue hint at the direction, but doesn't paint a clear picture. We need the level of detail, which is emails, calls, etc. Don't take for granted that the jury will know what you mean by encourage participation. Here are some strong examples and some less successful examples. Innovation. The nominated program stretches beyond traditional approaches and solutions in the pursuit of exceptional results for communities in the company. What makes this program innovative? Some things to consider. And here are some strong examples and some less successful examples. Don't assume that the jury will know what you mean by inspiring. Dedication to measurement. Company and its partners demonstrate a strong commitment to accountability, benchmarking, and continuous improvement throughout the nominated program's life cycle. What is the role of measurement in the fulfillment of the program strategy? Some things to consider. The jury knows this is hard, but it's so important. Lots of companies have a hard time with this question. So think, what are your goals? And think in terms of numbers. How do you measure progress towards those goals? And how do we number, know your numbers are good or bad? How does measurement allow you to make better decisions over time? Here are some strong examples and some less successful examples. To go into greater detail here, with the less successful example, we say 96% of participants gave the program a high satisfaction rating. Why is this not as strong? Well, these statistics are left to stand on their own. We did a survey and everyone liked it. But has it changed over time? What decisions did this inform? Is this a good or bad number? How does this compare to other programs? What does this number mean? Just a standalone number is interesting, but not as interesting in, know as in knowing what it means. It's not bad to include this information, but it's difficult for the jury to appreciate the value. 
And finally, partnership. Collaboration with partners based on mutual interests and complementary assets that allow the nominated program to exceed the results that the applying company could achieve otherwise, whether alone or with other partners. How has the partnership enabled this program to generate results beyond what the organization could otherwise achieve? If the jury is going to select your company, show a great working relationship, how you interact, why you chose one another, what is it about the merging of expertise and assets, include lessons learned from each other. What is the eye-opening lesson here? This is about learning and growing. Don't state what most giving officers already know, but don't also shy away from true lessons learned. It's okay if your strategy wasn't perfect, perfect in the first place. Here are some things to consider. Some strong examples and some less successful examples. We hope you feel encouraged to apply. This is a terrific opportunity to celebrate and be recognized for your programs. Don't forget the resources on CECP's website and mark your calendar for September 7, 2012, the deadline. Craft your work plan so you have enough time for this to be a constructive and positive experience for you and your partners. I would like to thank you for utilizing this webinar. If you have further questions about the Excellence Awards program or about CECP, I encourage you to visit our website at corporatephilanthropy.org. In addition, you can contact us via email at info at corporatephilanthropy.org or give us a call at 212-825-1000. Thank you.